Hey guys, it's Kevin over Gary back out here. I'm back out loading up, but there's lightning today, so I gotta wait. Uh, looks like what, there's three trucks in front of me. There was like seven. It's the busiest I've seen this place. But yeah, I'll set you up uh, when I get out to load up and hopefully finally get you some good footage of loading and stuff. So, uh, I just want to thank again, I got to my 1,000 subscriber goal, which is really cool, and, uh, gonna keep going, see what happens, I don't know, you guys seem to like what I do, I think, I don't know, comments are always good and suggestions, so I try to listen to them and do what I can to accommodate them, so, uh, help me guys guys help me out uh, on what you guys like to see and what you don't like to see and uh, we'll keep going from there please don't forget to like and comment it really helps me uh, out by growing the channel and then also to know what you guys are liking and what you guys aren't liking so uh, I'll be back in a second This is how I this is how I secure these. So you get the strap like this, just basically pull it back through. And then what you're gonna wanna do is uh, make a nice size Real of it, I guess, for I don't know what to call this. And then when you're up here, you take the strap, you go under and through, like so. And then you just start turning this. <laughs> and then when you get it tight you just pull it down and then that doesn't go anywhere you're good to go so i'm gonna do that on the rest of these and i'll meet you guys back in the truck uh, got to pull out of azz i'm in crawley texas and uh this is a pretty light load which is kind of nice I, I bet you it's about 10,000 pounds or so is all. Maybe a little more. But, uh, should be good. Uh, weight and stuff really, weight, well, wind really affects the fuel more than anything. But weight lets me go uh, faster up hills, though. <laughs> but, yeah, we're just pulling out. Me and I need some rain here. This drive is getting very dusty. But, but all in all, that all went well. Uh, I will have to say that, so my customer 
here has a little bit of a little bit of an issue with this place as far as uh, time frame. Like they're they just can't get enough people to work, and they're backed up, and then very union ran. So, like I was told to come here at seven to load. Well, by the time the safety meeting was over, I had to go on the break. And it ended up, I ended up sitting like three hours just because of that. But uh, I never really had a problem loading or unloading here. It's, they've always been nice. It's just time frame's always been an issue, getting stuff done fast enough. So, but that said, uh, I'm happy I'm not at that last place. And uh, I don't know if I'll ever go back there. I told my customer I'm not going back but I might break down and pick up that load otherwise it's gonna really mess me up on having a uh, backhauls and stuff like that it's a lot more profitable when you're, whoops I just missed that gear when you're loaded both ways and not trying to find a uh, backhaul Everything seems to be good. I already checked to make sure hubs and everything are running good. I do that when I stop. I put my hand on the tires and on the hub. Make sure none of them are getting hot. I do have a little problem with this front hub. It started to leak a little bit. I just checked it. It's still fine. But uh, that is something I'm going to have to take care of. Uh, I'm going to jump back in the truck and uh, we'll go down the road. Well guys, I'm parked for the night. I, should, I need to stop someplace where there's not lights around it, but uh, that's what my truck looks like with this trailer. Uh, so, I'm going to bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. It's time to head out to drop this load off. Uh, just started the truck, filled out my logs, and uh, I'm ready to head. So I'll catch you guys at the drop site. Okay, guys, I know I didn't show a whole lot, but that's that's all I have for this load. It's all on the truck. So I'm back where I park, and uh, I'm just waiting for the truck to air up so I can drop the trailer. It's all unhooked. Until the truck has air pressure, it won't drop the bags has to do with the switch I guess. Sorry I didn't film a whole lot of that again. I'm no I'm a bad YouTuber, but I'm working on it. But I got that footage out of it, uh, the scrapyard that's pretty cool. So well once this uh, reaches pressure it'll drop down. 
So there I hit the pressure, so now it's dropping down. Hopefully getting on the jacks. And looks like it might be hung up a little bit on my hitch. Might have to rattle the truck a little bit. I'll get in there and do that, but yeah, it just needs to pop off of there. So I'll get in there and we'll get that done. So we're at a new galvanizer. This is in Alvarado called Sabre. This place is massive. So I had security checking and everything. But I unstrapped in the staging area. I was getting waited and told what to do. But uh, this is an operation for sure. Bob's out of hibernation. He's running pretty good. Just thought she had to let you know you sold your best running forklift. 